This is my um, digital or electronic dividing head that I have uh, put together. It's basically a, an ER20 spindle with a collet chuck on the left side, which you'll see in a minute, and a uh, NEMA 23 stepper motor on the right. This runs on 12 volts at about 1.5 amps. It's a 1.8 degree stepper, which is uh, about 200, which is 200 steps per revolution, and then that's geared to the spindle through a timing belt pulley system that gears it down five to one. So the total ratio, the total uh, uh, resolution of the uh, spindle is 1,000. So I'll go ahead and turn the um, <clears throat> computer on. Uh, you can't really see the Arduino. This is a uh, Sane Smart LCD keypad shield that's plugged onto the top. Uh, and I don't know if you're able to read that display or not. I'll uh, see if I can zoom in a little bit here and see if that helps or hinders things. I can't really tell on this little screen. Anyway. Uh, it says divisions one and position zero. So I'm first going to push this uh, top up arrow button, which um, will uh, set the number of divisions up to five. So there's one, and uh, there's two, three, four, five. So we're on uh, five positions, <clears throat> and we're on position one. And if you can see the uh, wheel there when I turn the uh, when I push the right button it'll advance one-fifth of a turn and when I push the left one it'll back up one-fifth of a turn so that's basically the way it works um, so I will move the camera over here and see if I can uh, get uh, focused on the spindle And uh, we will cut five positions on this spindle. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up the uh, milling machine and it'll make some noise so you probably won't be able to hear anything else. So here we go. There's the first flat. Now we'll advance it one fifth of a turn. And we'll do the next flat. Here's step number three. like it returned to the exact home position without gaining or losing any steps. So that is that. Uh, as you can see, I should be able to loosen this spindle nut just by the holding power of the stepper alone. Uh, it actually has quite a bit of torque. Let me go a little further here. And there it's loose. And here is the uh, five position flat. This is aluminum, by the way. So probably not a real heavy cut involved, but the spindle does seem to have plenty of torque to uh, move and hold the piece while it's being cut. And that's it. Thanks.